Hi, and welcome to The Mostly Mike Show. As we finish up another year, I'm going to reflect on the highlights of 2020 for this channel and some goals as we move into 2021. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody in the Mostly Mike Nation that viewed my videos, commented, and subscribed. Those numbers are the driving force that keeps me making videos. I would also like to thank the entire staff of the Mostly Mike Show for producing the content, and I apologize in advance if I missed anyone. Starting with Mike over in the editing department. Mike, the head cameraman. Mike in graphic arts. And Mike over in public relations. Thanks to all for your hard work and dedication. Your efforts literally make this channel what it is today. About this time last year, I made a similar video on 2019, setting a goal to send it to a thousand subscribers in 2020. Which in my own mind I thought was a pretty tall order, considering that I didn't even have 100 subscribers at the time. Well, I finished the year with just over 800, so in simple terms that's an 800% increase. One can only imagine how great this makes me feel. Thanks again to all that made this happen. In 2021, I promise to still increase the quality of my videos through education and better equipment with even funnier groaner jokes and puns, if that's even possible. The van project has been on hold, so I hope to finally get it to where it needs to be so I can get more organized and prepared for weekend trips to new places. I also plan to do videos of all nine of my homemade trails as well as new trails with new features on the horizon. Finally, the exterior renovation of the new Mostly Mike Show headquarters is essentially complete, minus a few small projects. So the bulk of the work has moved inside for the bike shop, which will also be the set for new bike maintenance videos and product reviews. I've been working diligently on this since early summer. Subscribe and be the first to watch the renovation video, which is coming soon. And 2020 has brought some sadness in the fall. On October 26th, my best buddy Coco has passed away. That is one of the most painful things that I have ever experienced. I think about her every day. She has brought a lot of happiness to my videos, which we will all miss greatly. I made a tribute video of her 16 years that it, she was beside me in almost everything that I have done, which I will include in the description. And in November, I managed to catch the coronavirus, but I recovered pretty well, for which I feel very fortunate. Many weren't as lucky, so let's keep them in our thoughts and prayers. Aside from that, I'm thankful to not be hospitalized from crashes in 2020. 2019 gave me more of my fair share of that. Thanks again to all who supported this channel, and let's look forward to a healthy and happy 2021 with lots of new content on the stuff that you all love to watch, loaded with the hilarious annex and madcap hijinks that you can expect on the Mostly Mike Show. Subscribe and click that bell, it's gonna be fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.